I want to get to some criticism of James Harden from one of his former coaches. NBA TV airing their open court series tonight and James Harden's former coach Kevin McHale on the panel. Here's a preview that has been released to the masses, McHale being very critical of his former superstar's leadership ability. The quote is, James can see all the passes, do everything, but James is not a leader. He tried being a leader last year and doing that stuff. I think Chris Paul is going to help him do that stuff and just get back to just hooping and playing. Look, if James tells you, Chuck, talking to Charles Barkley, you've got to play better defense, are you going to listen to them? You're kidding me. I lived through it, Kevin McHale says. Everyone in the locker room just shook their head. Uh, he's a clown, honestly. You know, uh, I, 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 I did anything and everything he asked me you know, to do. I try to lead this team every single day since I stepped foot here in Houston. Um, you know, but just to go on here and just, you know, downplay my name when, you know, honestly, he's never taught me anything, um, you know, to be a leader. But I, I've done a great job. You know, I think, in, in, you know, the organization, my, my coaches, you can ask any of those guys, um, you know, how, how I've worked extremely hard every single day to, to better, you know, obviously be a basketball player, but be a leader as well, uh, different types of leaders as well. So to go on here and downplay my name like that, <clears throat> It just uh, it shows his character, and uh, I usually don't go back and forth uh, on social media with anybody or you know with interviews. But you know, something to stand up for myself, and, and, and you know, there it is. But you just don't go and do that. Okay, now we've heard uh, what each man had to say in this situation. Although I noticed that the media is putting out what James Harden has said with more, uh, including the video. That's why I included the video with Kevin McHale. I, you know, it's funny, I couldn't find the original video with him talking to Charles Barker about it. That's why I included that part. They only put in quote what Kevin, Kevin McHale says, but you see video all the end about James Harden calling Kevin McHale a clown. So that's how they use us black men, man. A lot of people are like, oh, my God, you're so, why are you both ranks, man? I mean, I don't understand it. I just peep out a lot of shit, man. I'm not the only one to see it, but anyway, and, you know, technically, Kevin McHale started it, but they're kind of making it seem like James Harden is starting it by saying, out of context, he's calling him a clown, as if he just did it for no reason. Now, maybe he shouldn't have called him a clown, but, hey, he was just retaliating with what Kevin McHale did. Or said. Now, this is my take. Now, let me talk about Kevin McHale calling James Harden saying he's not a leader. Now, he makes some points. Um, he makes some points. Uh, up until that Spurs series, I would have called it hogwash. Like, you know, James Harden finally emerged last year as an improved basketball player displaying his talents. Now, defensively, yeah, you know, he can still get better. But I thought last year, at the very least, he started showing some effort on defense. Before that, the last couple of seasons, man, it's just been – I'm just big on two-way players, man. That's why I love a guy like Kawhi Leonard, um, a guy who gives you – Superstar effort on both sides of the court. And I think that's being forgotten in today's NBA that you play offense and defense. And a player that plays, that gives superstar effort on both sides of the court, to me, should only be the MVP. Not a guy that just scores 35 points a game or whatever and, and doesn't uh, at least give effort on defense. But James Harden was phenomenal last year, second place only to the great Russell Westbrook. A tremendous season. I think the uh, Rockets won 55 games, was it, I think, last year? 55 or 56 games. Um, well, it might have been 54. But let's say 54, 55 games. And um, up until that Spurs series, I would have said that was bullshit, man. But James Harden completely disappeared. In that Spurs series, especially that last game. Um, yeah, you could say, oh, it was a bad series. That was inexcusable. That last game, 
it was almost to the point where there was like a conspiracy. <laughs> it was conspiracy theories all across the social media board where people thought that he threw that game on purpose for some reason. But, you know, um, James Harden just has to go out and take this as motivation, what Kevin McHale's criticisms were, you know. Um, but I thought that James Harden and Houston Rockets had a phenomenal season last year. But is James Harden the type of person that you look to for leadership? I can understand that based on how much money he makes, uh, his stats for the organization. But in the uh, expanded version of this clip, Paul Pierce has a point. It's not on that clip that, I'm, that I put up here, but on the original clip, uh, Paul Pierce has a point. Had a good point. Sometimes your leader is not your best player. Your leader is the guy who works the hardest, the guy who motivates others. That's why Kobe Bryant will often tell you that the leader of those Laker teams was not he or Shaq, it was Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher was the inspirational and, and motivational leader of those Lakers teams. Um, that's true of a lot of different other teams. You could say that in some ways the, late, the leader of those early Celtic teams of the 80s may have been a guy like Cedric Maxwell. Uh, but Bird was the born leader, but what I'm trying to say is that Cedric Maxwell was also a guy who uh, motivated others. And um, speaking of the Celtics, let me say this about Kevin McHale. Now, he talks about people being leaders. And Kevin McHale is one of the great players of all time. Now, 20 years ago, I would have said that Kevin McHale was the all-time 50 greatest player. I no longer believe that is the case anymore. I think he's a top 75 or 80 player now. But he's still a great player. But he didn't make the most out of his uh, talents either. I remember Larry Bird saying in all honesty several years ago that he thought that Kevin McHale didn't work as hard as he could have. He said with all the natural talent that he had Kevin McHale could, could have been better. Yes, Kevin would give you at his best 26 points a game, 25 points a game, uh, eight rebounds, you know, uh, two blocks, 60% shooting from the floor. Arguably, along with Elijah one of the greatest post scorers we've ever seen. He and Elijah Moore, true. But he could have been even better. So... He's kind of not in the position to tell people that he owns <laughs> the blueprint or, or knows the blueprint of what a leader is. And also, I think with Kevin McHale, too, you got to take into fact the consideration that James Harden was rumored to be behind his firing in the first place. I think it was 11 games into the... What was that, 2014-15 season when, when McHale got fired, I think? Or was it 15-16 season? I get a little mixed up. I think it was 2015-16 season, yeah. 2015-16 season when McHale was fired by the Rockets after 11 games. Um, but tell me what you guys think, man. Tell me what you guys think about, the, about this crap.